Hey, hey, this is Sasha from Sino Arcology with a quick tip answering your questions on the webs and socials. Sino Archaeology. Anna Friedrich asks in the YouTube comments, do you have a video explaining how to set up a silver tank? Currently a copper electroformer here and want to step it up to silver. I can't seem to find any videos perfectly explaining the differences between the two or the similarities. Short answer, it is basically the same process using basically the same hardware. So you don't have to learn a whole new beast, but there are a few small and very important differences. Short disclaimer here, there are of course a ton of ways to electroform or plate silver onto objects. This is my way and it's pretty easy. Let's first talk about the similarities of e-forming with copper or with silver. Hardware is pretty the same container for the solution, rectifier to provide the energy, demineralized water for rinsing, gloves and glasses for protection. Now for the four important differences between copper and silver electroforming. First difference, electroforming solution. For copper, you use a copper solution. For silver, you use a silver solution. But please watch out. There are silver solutions that contain cyanide. This is very dangerous stuff that can kill people. So I strongly recommend that you only work with cyanide-free solutions, like for example the one from Tifu that I use. Of course, you shouldn't drink these solutions either, but the cyanide-free solutions are much safer to work with. And don't be surprised, containing silver, this stuff is also more expensive than copper solutions. Second difference, anodes. For copper, you use copper anodes. For silver, you use silver anodes. This can be any piece of fine silver. Sheets, wires or even small bars of fine silver will do. Third difference, the volts on your rectifier. While copper can take current up to 3 volts, with silver you should stay below 1 volt. Anything above will cause the silver to oxidize and turn black in the process. Even though I got no affiliation with Tifu, the makers of my solutions, I'm a big fan of their stuff. One reason being that they provide an online calculator that will tell you the exact volts and amps to set on your rectifier. No guessing anymore, your piece will be a success every time. Fourth and maybe the biggest difference between electroforming copper and silver. Electroforming silver is a two-step process. You cannot electroform silver directly onto your conductive paint for chemical reasons. You need to electroform your piece with copper first and then throw it over into the silver solution to get the silver finish. I don't mind this additional step at all because fine silver alone is very soft. It can be bent or chipped very easily. A solid layer of copper underneath provides mechanical strength and the perfect surface that silver loves to bond with. That's why I've noodled together a double container setup. Switching the solutions like this is a breeze. When the piece has the desired layer thickness of copper, you rinse it in demineralized water and just drown it in the silver solution until the desired layer thickness is acquired there. And boom, silver. I hope this quick tip helps to up your e-forming game. If you have questions or problems you think I should cover in a quick tip, please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, happy e-forming and greetings from Switzerland. Ciao zusammen.